Welcome back everyone. Zach is off tonight. Earlier at six, we mentioned that the Minot High Magicians were not the only football team from the West to come back with a trophy. The North Prairie Cougars won their co-ops first ever Dakota Bowl championship in a tightly contested 16 to 8 win over South Border. The Cougars did not score fewer than 34 points in any game this season until the state championship. Their high octane offense led by Blake Matson, scored more than 200 points in the team's first three games of the season. The team's seven seniors said winning a state championship started as a dream in sixth grade when varsity head coach Josh Keller coached them in middle school. Whenever a dream comes true, it, it was, I don't even know where I am right now, you know, that's what me and the coaches are all saying. It's been a dream of ours forever and oh, it, it's surreal. The Cougars senior offensive and defensive lineman Nate Tosted was named the nine man most outstanding senior athlete of the year. Congratulations to the Cougars. Other players from our area receiving first team honors include Nate's teammate and quarterback Blake Matson, who accounted for both of the touchdowns the Cougars scored in the state championship game. Nate's younger brother Brett also received second team honors. We'll share the All-State teams this week as they are released. Tomorrow, we're going to find out the single-A honors. The college signing period for all sports other than football and basketball is now open. A handful of Minot High student-athletes celebrated their college choices today. Two Minot High cross-country runners, Julie Folk and Macy Burke, both signed college commitments this afternoon. Julie will run cross-country at Minot State, while Macy signed to play women's soccer at the University of Mary. It just means a lot because I put all this work since I was really little and then finally just getting to sign and then writing it on ink, it's really meaningful. I knew I was going to miss cross country, like not doing it in college and I hadn't like planned on doing it until this last summer and then like this season went well, like I was PR, PR in every single like meet almost and so I was like I'm going to miss this next year so I want to continue racing. Julie is hoping to major in both business and art. Macy wants to study physical therapy. A pair of Majette softball players, Izzy Anderson and Ellington Anderson, while not related to each other, will play together at Minot State next year. Even since like I was probably in like seventh grade, I saw like Minot High students, like JC Ross said, I saw it like go to Minot State and I kind of just wanted to always follow in like kind of that footsteps. And Minot State's kind of always been a goal for me. This is kind of just something that I've always wanted. Starting so young and then like not knowing if this was even like the sport that I wanted to continue in and then falling in love with it and now here I am like getting the opportunity to continue for another four years. Just it's great. You don't have to be perfect to have success. Izzy said she plans to study nursing. Ellington said she will major in bio.